episode, we're going to clarify different striking techniques to hit the primary targets. What the primary targets are is basically a part of the body that no matter what size you are or what amount of training you've done, you're gonna react the same if you get hit at that target. So we say escape to gain safety, so we're gonna take the first letter of each one of those words. So E is gonna represent eyes. If you get hit in the eyes, you can't see. T is gonna go for throat. If you get hit in the throat hard enough at the right point, it's gonna be hard to breathe. G is for gall groin. So basically you get hit in the groin, you can't fight. And then S is for shin slash knee. So what we're trying to do is not make them mobile for them to chase after you. We're trying to restrict their movement. So what we're gonna do now is take a look in the street and how it works. some ways to attack the eyes. Well first one to do is you can either spit in the eyes or throw liquid in the eyes. Hot cup of coffee, water, whatever. All you're trying to do is blur their vision. Sand, dirt, picking up dirt, throwing it at their face. Hey, it might not hit the eye, but there might be a good chance it might too also. So you cannot sit there, throw something in the eye and expect them to drop or run away from that. You might have to follow up or remove yourself from the situation. So look at some strikes for the eyes. Okay, so first of all, do never, never have your fingers straight because if I hit the eye and I miss and I hit the forehead most likely I'm going to jar up my fingers so kind of have a little curve so now I can hit it much harder once again it's not easy to get to that target sometimes you've got to go through all the chaos to get there another option you can do is the thumb in the eye once again don't point your thumb out too much because if you just take your thumb it's not good so we want to bend it a little bit and we can use that to hit the eye from a very close range thumbs in the eye is another good one we can do and also it's hard to find the eye sometimes too when the head's moving so sometimes if you could just get your hands on their face and rake down and then hopefully you can find the eyes within that movement as well so there's some ways of attacking the eyes so now let's look at the throat once again it's another soft tissue good way to strike the throat one is being a knife hand be able to chop the throat but once again you've got to be at the right position and placement to be able to do that you could also use your fingers again like hitting the eyes which we call a spear hand by the way once again this is a good way to hit the throat and also just a general choke if i was going to go up to someone and choke them with that i could slam into the throat so once again there's three good ways to strike the throat
Now let's go to the groin. Okay, I have been hit here before by accident during kickboxing by holding the pads with a 12 year old and he dropped me. Okay, I've also heard stories too that someone's been hit in the groin and it did nothing. So sometimes it's going to hit the target right on the spot, sometimes it may not. So this is why you can't just sit there and hit and then wait to expect something to happen. You've got to follow up your attack or you've got to remove yourself from the situation. So let's look at some strikes for the groin. One is of course being the standard groin kick. Raise your legs straight up, A to B, B to A as hard as you can. That's from a long distance. If we're closer, we can use the knee. Also, we could use our hands. Another good one that we did in the video of the striking for the street, in the uh, previous episode, was using the hammer fist. If he was behind me, I could hit the groin. If he's to the side of me, I could hit the groin. But even if he's in front of me, I could hit his groin this way. I could even now rich hand it. And if you need to, you can grab someone's groin and grab it hard and twist and pull it. Because at the end of the day, as soon as your groin is grabbed hard, you're going to forget about everything else. So that is a good primary target. But don't just, re you know, just realize that you're going to hit it and it's going to drop. You've got to follow up. Do not stop until it is over. Now let's look a little bit lower towards the shin and knee. Okay. If you hit someone hard in the knee, especially if their leg is straight and you hyperextend their knee joint, that's going to cause a lot of problems for them. Once again, we could give a lot of different kinds of kicks to the knee. One, we could do an oblique kick to the knee. We could also just do a front kick to the knee. And we also could do a side kick to the knee. There's three good strikes using your feet. But even if someone grabs you from behind, I could still use a donkey kick to smash them in the knee. All we're trying to do is restrict their movement. And I like to use the shin as well. But the best way to attack the shin is if you've got a good solid pair of shoes on. If you've got some Doc Martens or some strong working boots and even some high heels with not too much of a uh, high part of the end where it's going to lose your mobility. But if you could stomp on someone's shin or rake your foot down someone's shin, especially if someone grabs you from behind, you can't get out, you just rake down their shin. All you're doing is trying to overload their brain full of discomfort. So you can find your time to get out or follow up the attack. So shin and knee, I would use to, be able to soften them up. And especially if someone grabs your wrist and you can't get out, they're too strong, you give them solid stomps to the shin, they're going to have to deal with that in some way. So that might give the opportunity to then fight out of the grip. So once again, there's your four primary targets. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you find this information valuable. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.